The Goblin Gang just got a massive buff and might just be one of the strongest cards of the new balance update. With the return of the third Spear Goblin, the win rates have instantly skyrocketed from the 92nd lowest rated card all the way up to the first in all of Clash Royale. And I have three of the best Goblin Gang decks to put it to the test. I mean, two of them are legit strategies and one of them is absolutely insane. This one right here is the absolutely insane strategy. No idea how it came to be, but it is a 4.4 average elixir, super heavy, real giant P.E.K.K.A. deck. Yeah, I know. Sounds kind of insane, doesn't it? I told you it was insane, and actually it is. I have no idea how it came to be, but I found it on Real IP. I was being played by this player right here, and honestly, he was at a very, very impressive um, trophy range. And so I was surprised, and I figured, you know what? I like being surprised. Let's try it out and see what it is. Maybe it's a troll deck. Maybe it was a counter strategy. I don't even care. It looked crazy and I wanted to give it a try. So, so far the Goblin Gang has been okay, to say the least, in this battle. But it is far from over. So let's go. Let's go over here. Left lane for the princess. Destroys the princess down and then maybe we see some piggies. No. Oh, he has one of those as well. All right. Barbarians, my friend, defend the tower. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we have two barbarians going right lane, which is actually what I wanted because it applies a bit more counter pressure because if he does not respond to this, which he does, I mean, we still get one barbarian to the tower right lane. We nail this in here for reasons beyond my comprehension. But Barbarian gets in there, one swings to the tower, maybe one more. Do we see some pickets in your left lane? We do. All right, Executioner. Should have used it off to the side. But, I mean, at least three of the piggies go. Hey, Executioner. <laughs> Why would you turn around to the one piggy when you have two in front of you? <laughs> you ever hear that saying, two birds, one stone? Well, two piggies, one axe, my friend. Two piggies, one axe. All right, we're going to go an RG slow push over here at lane. I want to get my P.E.K.K.A. hopefully down for his mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, let's just go Goblin Gang here, boys and girls. This is the ultimate destruction right now. Oh, yeah. Ready for this? Ready, ready, ready? Barbarian's down here. Destroys the uh, Princess. Then, honestly, if we go in with the... Unless he goes Counter Pressure. If we go P.E.K.K.A. over here... He's going to go probably Goblin Gang, right? We want to nail this in here and then go... Uh, go Execution in here. Just up the down the right lane. There we go. Yes, sir. If the RG finishes the tower up, we're fine. Come on, RG. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. The tower gets destroyed. The Goblin Gang does not offer enough distraction, and he fireballs back by Executioner. But do we have enough time to survive? That is the question right now. <laughs> Our tower is looking pretty dire. 478 HP remaining. But, honestly, with the sheer power of will and positivity... Nah, we can't. We can't. Can we do it? Can we do it? <gasps> Yo! How does this deck actually win? I mean, it was one battle. All right, Goblin Gang, show me what you're made of with the third Spear Goblin at the bridge. How much damage do you do? I mean, not even lock on the tower, but we do force out a five Elixir Prince. Honestly, I'm okay with that. If I go a Dark Goblin right now, then we lock down the Miner plus the Princey Boy. The Dark Goblin should be able to finish off the Prince before getting damage to our tower. And make it one shot. <gasps> no shots, let's go, baby. Now, I think we're facing Giant Double Prince. He's got Prince, he's got Miner. We might see a Dark Prince right there. Electro Wizard. All right, so I'm definitely thinking Giant Double Prince. So if we go in with a Prince right here, Goblin Bill Sneaky, and a Princess to that tower, the Prince forces out a Dang Prince or a... It does, but the Goblin Bill goes in there. Get some stabs out to that tower. Um, haha, Miner, meet the new and approved Goblin Gang. Yo, if we go Prince right here as well, we have three stab goblins going on the counter push, forcing out a Electro Wizard, and the goblins going in, they overwhelm, the Prince turns around, destroys the Dang Prince, meanwhile the Goblin Nation comes together and finishes off the Dang Prince. Let's go Dark Mode over here right lane to finish off the Electro Wizard. Keep our Lock Spell for a Giant or Prince defense. We might be seeing a Giant Prince at the bridge push here soon because we are low in Elixir and he might try and punish. But with two more Dark Goblin shots to that tower, we have over double the health on his tower. Double the damage lead. Oh, and there is the giant. So, I have a plan right now. It involves princessing the opposite side of the arena. Typically, with a giant level prince deck, they will go for a split lane pressure with the giant and the miner in one lane. And then they try and go for the double prince left lane. But it appears he's trying to go in with the... Okay, I mean, I'm going to ignore that miner, my friend. I'm going to ignore that miner. We're going to go in with a goblin gang for your prince. And then a regular prince for your giant. I Let's go thrust us over here. Uh, we might be seeing a uh, regular prince here. Yes, yes, yes. Honestly, we can still overwhelm and destroy. 
Even with all that jazz, the Gumbrook was in there. Pulls the Dank Prince back. He's gonna a million and a half stabs off. Yo, he says GG. He could easily go with a, a Giant right now, though, and destroy us. Where's your Giant, my friend? Gonna go Giant? If I, if you go Giant minor left lane, I'm low on Elixir right now, and I have limited Giant responses. No? You don't listen to me? Okay, that's that's that's, that's fine. Oh, uh, where's Electro Wizard? That's a Lux spell chain. All right, we're gonna go Rascals over here. Knock back the Dank Prince to deny the charge attack. Goblin Gang here to hopefully destroy his giant. He zaps it down, but the power of the Rascals combine and they destroy the giant. And the Rascal Girl is still alive. There's the Electro Wizard. Let's go Prince with Electro Wizard first. And then honestly, all we need to go is a Goblin Bill right now. Um, actually, you know what? Let's play a bit more defensive. Let's have some fun with it, my friends. The Prince goes on the counter push right here, charges into the Dank Prince. Rest is over here for the Giant. Dark Element going down as well. We can lock back the Giant to reset the Dark Prince attack as well as giving us more time from the Giant from that tower. And then if we go a Prince on the counter push with a Goblin Barrel, we force out a Fireball directly on his tower because he only has Fireball as a response. But that leaves him with no Elixir left for the Rascals. The Rascals lock on, finish the tower off, and there we go with a one tower victory against a spicy Giant Double Prince deck. So if I go Prince over here left lane for this Valkyrie, do we see a graveyard? Do we see a yard grave? Do we see a miner? All right, miner, meet the new and approved Goblin Gang. So we destroy the miner over here right lane. We got a Prince counter pushing left side of the arena, forcing out some pressure. Archer Queen in the middle. It might go invisible or we might see an Electro Spirit. I mean, the Goblin Gang locks on there. That's actually not terrible. Like it could be a lot better if the, oh. This is actually pretty terrible. The Mortar is the Rascal Destroyer, my friends. Ay, ay, ay. yeah. But the one Rascal Girl locks on, hopefully to get some damage onto that tower before the Mortar turns around and destroys her. Look at this Mortar. Yep, bop, and she's gone. <laughs> it's like, be gone, pest. Get out of here. Let's go, friends, over here, right lane. Get a few shots to that tower before he responds to it. One shot. There's a Valka. Let's go, Dark over here. We might see a Miner. Hmm? Let's go, Prince, right here. Pulls the Valkyrie back. I, forgot. I don't think he's got Lock Spell because he's got a Mortar deck. But if he does, we're dead. Yeah, I didn't. I definitely did. Why, why is he going minor right there? I definitely got to say, I didn't think he had Lock Spell in there because he's got a Mortar deck. So I typically thought he'd be like a Snowball or something. But I mean, I guess it is what it is. All right, Goblin Gang, get in there. Get some damage done. Yo, if unanswered, the Goblin Gang can just wreck face, dude. Just actually wreck face. I'm going to go Princess over here left side. We might see a Mortar right now. Oh, we do. Okay, we're gonna go Rascals up high. Distracts the Mortar. Dark Goblin over here for the uh, Archer Queen. Uh, maybe my maybe my Dark Goblin was a bit premature. No, it destroys it. So it's not terrible. Goes on tower right lane, forces out a Valkyrie. Let's go Prince over here. We have to soak a boatload of uh, Mortar damage. We're gonna go Goblin Game behind this so it doesn't get destroyed by the Mortar Splash. It will eventually get destroyed. But if we go Goblin Game Princess right here, the Princess destroys the Guard. He misses his Log Spell. So the Prince is tanking. He goes Electro Spirit, but the Goblin Gang locks on. Let me go Rascals for the Archer Queen, dude. And that was some intense tower damage. Yo, that's what you'd love to see, Clash Riel. All right, Goblin Gang split. Distracts the Mortar. Let's go Prince over here for this Valkyrie. Also does a dual purpose of distracting and destroying the Mortar. I'm gonna go Dark Goblin over here. Log back the uh, Miner plus the, the Guards. Prince gets in there. Does he, does he lock that down? Please lock it down, my friend. Please. Oh my goodness. You're supposed to lock that down, buddy. I really want a lock spell there. Because then I would have just punished you down with my Goblin Barrel. I mean, I know what you're trying to do here. We're going to go Rastus up high. Goblin Gang for the distraction of the Mortar. Then I initially want to go a Prince as well for these guards. To keep our... The Rastus is going to die to the Mortar right now, right? It does. But if we go Dark up in here. It destroys the... Nothing. The Prince finishes off the Valkyrie, though. Goes on to that tower. It's one more shot. But Princess Goblin Barrel here. Come on, my friend. He's not gonna miss his Goblin. He's not gonna miss his Lock Spell again. Oh, he doesn't just. How did he miss it twice? Bro. I gave you all the opportunities. Everything you ever needed to capture your moment. But you let it slip, my friend. You let it slip there, boy. You can't do that. All right, we're gonna go a Lock Spell here. Dark Goblin for this Mortar. The Rascal Boy is tanking. The Dark One destroys the Electro Spirit. We got a Prince going up high. We go Goblin Gang initially for this Miner. And then all we need, honestly, is like a couple of Rockets to finish this tower off. Rocket number one going down. We just five cycle to them one more. Rocket number one going down over here. He, he, he might even try and go Miner or Mortar. But watch this. We go Rustles down here, distracts the Valkyrie. Then we go Prince for further Mortar destruction. And we're already right back to another Rocket 
in T minus three, two, one. Orlando, do you have any last words, my friends? No? Okay. Well, good game. So jumping in here against Mr. Julian with a fast cycle 2.6 hog rider deck. Now I kind of want to go in with a goblin giant right lane. And then honestly, nah, let's just chill. Let's just chill. Because he would just go ice golem and a cannon anyways. But he's going to log that down. So go dang prince here to deny the musketeer once it crosses the river. We might actually go in with the goblin giant and bats for the cannon. Goblin giant up front. Cannon in the middle over here. Come on, bats. Oh, it's a mortar deck. All right. Okay, yo, okay, let's zap this down right now. Uh, resets the uh, Mighty Miner, and we might be able to bypass. Yo, we break through. The Goblin Giant breaks through, the Bats block on, and the Spears go in, getting some additional tower damage. Now, I totally thought it was gonna be 2.6 Hog Cycle, but no, 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 it's the Mortar. We're gonna go speak up over here by lane for Julian's tower. They get in, get a couple Spears to that tower, but the Ice Spear does finish. Let's go Prince over here right lane for a potential Hog prediction. No Hog Rider. Hello? Oh, it's gonna go Mordor. Yo, if we fireball this down. Fire. I mean, he's. Oh, we get the Musketeer. Boom, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Now, obviously, uh, the Prince is dead. Musketeer's gonna survive, but. There's good news where there's good news here. And the good news is we can use the Bats to destroy the Musketeer. We might see a Hog Rider. No hog rider. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Dark Prince over here, right lane. Get the Goblin Gang ready to go for this hog rider. He does not predict the log spell. With the addition of the third spear, it gets in there and denies a second attack to my tower. Let's go. A bat over here. Somehow, some way. I don't know how. But the bat was closer to the ice spirit than the dang prince was. But we reset down the uh, mighty miner. The dark prince flashes down as well. The dark prince is taken for the spears. Meanwhile, if you look at left lane. The Goblin Gang actually decimated that tower. I'm gonna go Dang Prince over here, speak up for the uh, Hog Rider. I don't want to use the Goblin Gang again, just in case he tries to predict it with a uh, Lock Spell, which he didn't. But we didn't know he was gonna, was gonna do that. Let's go Fireball here for the Mortar. Boom, baby. Yes, sir. And now, honestly, with the Mighty Miner out of rotation, we can go in with the Goblin Giant. He might be able to get back in with another Mortar drop here soon. He does, but that's okay. Where's your, where's your Hog Rider, my friend? Uh, oh, we got one Spear Lock. Yo, how does the Spears lock on to different things. How do, what if the, spear go, what if the spears goes to the tower? And what if it goes to the mortar? Goblin gang going in, and the prince goes to the left lane, and Julian, Julian, Julian is very, very angry. I mean, that's three angry emails right there. Oh, no, he's sad. I'm sorry. All right, let's go with Bats over here for the King Tower activation. Obviously, we lose a lot. Hold up. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Oi, get out of here, Mr. Hog Raider. Yo, let's go a Prince Overito for this. We might even go in with the Goblin Giant and Counter Push as well. We don't have the bats, unfortunately, for the bridge destruction, but we can go in with ideally. Oh, we got another Mighty Miner. Let's zap this down. Resets the Mighty Miner, destroys the skeletons. The Prince goes in there, charges on to the cannon card. Meanwhile, it tanks for the Spear Goblins. Spear Goblins are alive. Come on, Prince. There's the Log Spell. And now we are perfectly poised to go in with the Goblin Gang. He's going to go uh, Electro Spear for this. In three, two, a hog rider. Okay. Well, I got 16 spears down right now. They lock onto a tower for some additional damages. We have some more spears joining the battle. Yo, what are the odds of facing? Is this the same guy we just beat? Is this the same guy we just beat? Because it's literally the exact same deck. Where's your six skeletons? Oh my goodness. Okay. Dude. Is this not the exact same deck we just fought? What are the freaking odds of that? I mean, maybe it's the same person. I didn't actually look at his name last time. I don't think it is, though, because the other guy had Ice Spirit. This guy has E Spirit, which honestly makes it a bit harder. No, the other guy had Musket Tier 2, and this guy does not. He's got Cannon Cart, so it's a similar strategy, but different. <laughs> it is similar, but different. So I kind of want to go in with a Goblin Gang for the Hog Rider, Goblin Giant for the additional destruction, and we only get one Hog Shot to our tower, which honestly, I'm kind of okay with. Let's go Spear Goblins here to support our Goblin Giant. We might see Electro Spirit, we might see Skeletons, we might see an Earthquake. Well, guess what, buddy? That does not affect the Spears on the Goblin Giant's back. He's very, very tired. Last guy was angry, this guy is tired and happy, so just the range of emotions today. Let's go in with Bats to support this. Sir, sir, sir. Ooh, let's go. Let's, I want to go double prince here. I want to go regular prince left lane. And then I want to go in with a dank prince right side of the arena. And then we'll see where his action is happening. Okay, spear goes for this. Oh, the prince goes to tower. Oh my goodness, dude. I don't think he predicted that. The prince just locks on and dominates, my friends. Yo, 
Death Prince is devouring. Goblin Gang here is Lux Spell's rotation, so the Goblin Gang should be able to destroy, even with the Earthquake, dude. We just freaking finished off that Hog Rider. Prince goes in, destroys the Mortar. One more Dank Prince over here. Yo, this is absolute perfection. He wastes the Skeletons as well. Oh, boys. Yo, we're so good right now. We didn't go away. A Goblin Giant here, left side of the arena for his um, tower. He has to go in with the Mortar. We can fireball down the Mortar right now. Let's go, baby. Goblin in right lane. He has to go Earthquake for it. He has to go Earthquake, but the Goblin Giant's alive. The Goblin Giant's taking for some Spears. We zap down the Spears. Skeletons over here. The Goblin Giant's still alive. We had a million and a half Goblins going in right lane. Where's your Log Spell? Log 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1, Log Spell. No Log Spell. All right. Let's go. Dang Prince over here. The Prince should be able to charge that down. Ready? Boom. Let's go. One Hog Shot. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. If we go in with the Goblin Giant left lane, he, he has limited responses for all of our Jazz. I kind of want to go a Fireball for the... Uh, mortar here. The Goblin Giant should get out of the range of the Mighty Miner and then get past the Mortar. He has to go with a Lock Spell here from my Mighty Miner. Goblin Giant's in there. One Goblin Giant stab. One Goblin Giant stab Arenos. <gasps> so close. He has to go Hog Rider right now, my friends. He wants to go Hog Rider so bad. Sir, where is the Hog Rider? Oh, he's gonna go Earthquake. Well, guess what? Fireball is faster than your Hog Rider. Plus, the Prince destroys it. Fireball goes down and that is 2 nothing for your dear friend Shane against a Mortar Mighty Miner Hog Decks. Where did the L come from? I have no idea. But that is it for the guys and girls. What do you think of the new Goblin Gang? Do you think it is back in the meta once and for all? I'm curious to see what you're noticing in Clash Royale. But is that anybody that can watch me see you win the next one?